Greetings Pisces, coming at you with your Christmas into the eclipse, into the new year. This is going to go until about January 10th because that's where the other readings have been falling. So I've been pulling my oracle cards before because I'm trying to make these videos not last like 40 minutes. So I'm actually going to start with your angels and ancestors. First of all, Pisces, we have traitor. Exchange energy to create abundance. So the traitor card is all about... You can't give expecting to get, and at the same time, you don't want to push your services on others or be too pushy. There is a fine line here in finding the balance of, see if you see him, he has his hand over his heart. Aquarius got the same card. So you guys might have Aquarius placements. Um, he has a kind face. He's not speaking. His mouth is shut. He has his hand over his heart. His intention is giving from his heart, and he's offering you know these like nice pillows that he's worked on. He's not pushing the pillows in the face. He's not... Ah, open mouth pushing and he's also not closed off and like well if you really want my pillow then you'll come and buy my pillows <laughs> so Pisces there is an energy here about the services that you offer and finding the balance of how to magnetize people towards you this is also all about co-creating and working with others so if you've kind of been in a space where you've been alone which I'm feeling that with this orphaned card here where you've kind of been isolating or you're feeling like you don't belong any anymore in a certain situation there's an understanding here that maybe where you're at is not where you're supposed to be. It's probably not where you're supposed to be, especially if you're getting this orphan card. The five is all about uh, challenging energy. And I say challenging because <sighs> that's not a negative thing, you guys. Like all the best people and the happiest people, I say best as in people who have followed their heart path and who are actually honoring their heart path and what they're brought here on this planet and this carnation meant to do, go through this phase and this phase is where you decide am i going to keep selling out my soul and what i know my heart was brought here to do and who i was brought here to be so that i can fit in with all these other people or appease a relationship that isn't really right for me and just keep hopping from this to this and hopping from that to that and hopping from house to house or you know it's just hopping around rather than just really getting honest with yourself listening to this higher power i know i keep going through the cards here we're just gonna let them all come through here. This is about really trusting the higher power. And now we are in a three year 2019, so um, it's kind of a challenging year. Next year, 2020 is gonna be a four year, so there's a lot more balance. There's a lot more spirit coming into 2020. So spirit is really asking you to listen and from that space of listening to spirit, you will be pulled out of this orphaned stage. I like that song, but it's really goey and uppy, and I was like, I'm not going to have that buzzing in my ear. Um, want to get it, want to get it, want to get it. It's a nice Afrobeat song. So I like that, though, because perhaps you're meant to travel. Perhaps you're supposed to work with other cultures. Maybe this is a time that you need to actually go be in another culture, in another environment, away from the space and away from the people that you've normally been around, Pisces. Uh, we have mirror guardian taking time to reflect so mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all this is all about getting a real honest deep look at yourself and spending more time in meditation pisces you see she's looking into the cosmos she's looking into the abyss so and she's wearing a lot of blue so blue might be a powerful color for you guys now with this orphaned card i'm really feeling this with the mirrored mirror guardian energy i feel like for a lot of my pisces you keep saying that you're going to spend time alone, you keep saying that you're going to do these things, but you keep spending your time with friends and family and distractions and helping other people and putting other people first. And that's all self-sabotage energy of self-sabotage. That's really just all self-sabotage. And then internally, you may be feeling this, like you just don't quite fit in. You don't quite have the relationship you want. You have a bunch of prospects. You have like friends that were there because you are really, you're a loyal person, Pisces. So like you're loyal to these people, but they are not on the same spiritual path as you. And spirit is asking you to actually separate yourself, entirely separate yourself. Look, she's wearing all white here. She has this beak. She's looking down. She's meant to fly, but she's not flying. She's meant to be flying, but she's not flying because she's not really honoring herself. There's something, there's a sacrificial energy here where you keep giving your energy to other people. You keep giving yourself just to please others and keep them happy. And you're like, well, I care more about that. You care more about others' happiness than your own. Well, then you're not really caring about their happiness because authentically, if you're caring about your happiness and what you give 
from an authentic place with spirit the most, then that is how you're going to be serving the most. And it may not be serving or appeasing to the people that you're currently around or the family that you're currently around or the friends that you're currently around or the music you listen to. I'm hearing for a lot of you, you need to change the music you're listening to. I don't know who that came in for, but someone needed to hear it. The music you listen to is programming you. And so it's keeping you from really connecting to spirit on a higher power. Some of you guys need to really jump into music without lyrics and allow yourself to have space so that spirit can actually come through. It's like you know you're spiritual and you have these little moments where you dance with spirit, but you never really quite dive in because you always go right to some, at a, some, you go to the next thing, like you hop from one to the next. So there's an energy here about really grounding yourself, sitting still, spending more time with yourself, spending more time with spirit, looking into that mirror, really getting honest here. And she has the wings here. So you guys, you're meant to fly. Oracle, waiting for important information. So this could be waiting for someone else to reach out to you. This energy is very receptive, but what I'm really feeling with this, with the sage and with her eyes closed and with the hood, I'm really feeling that this is all about surrendering to spirit, tapping into that higher power, letting yourself really feel that orphaned energy and letting yourself really tap in. Some of you guys are like, oh, I've tapped in a little bit. I've done this or that. I've been alone or I moved away or I'm doing these things. But when you have, when you moved away, you still kept yourself busy. Like it almost didn't matter if you moved or didn't move because you never really took the time to 100% solidify and dedicate yourself to your spiritual path. So for some Pisces, there is a huge need here to connect to your spiritual path. And as you connect more to your spiritual path, your divine counterpart will come in just naturally. And then as you keep connecting with your spiritual path, you will end up just meeting these people, these situations, these work opportunities, you'll figure out what your trade is and people will be drawn to you because they'll see that your energy and your vibration is on the right path and they'll see that you don't have lower vibrational energies around you and they'll be drawn into that. I'm seeing the red here, which is all about um, the root chakra really, but it's vibrating up into the heart and that goes right into the heart guardian card where again, she has the wings and her eyes are closed. And both of these cards, their eyes are closed because this isn't about at all the external world and dancing with the external world. Pisces, there's a huge need here for you to go within, spend time within, go out into nature, spend time alone, go in the bathtub with all the lights out and just like let yourself be immersed into the water and listen to some relaxing meditative music, whatever that looks like for you. Love and let yourself be loved. So for some of my Pisces, this is definitely all about letting yourself reach out more, letting yourself find a true connection here by first connecting with yourself in that orphan space. For some of my Pisces, um, Pisces are big flirts. I mean, I, I love Pisces. I'm a sucker for Pisces. Pisces are really romantic. They're, um, you know, all about, they can fantasize and just be really tender and just really sweet. And I think that's my favorite thing about Pisces is how romantic they are. And the thing is here, Pisces, is if you give bits of your romance to all these people that are like not the one, then what you need to realize is you're not giving your energy to the real one, which is a higher power. And when you give your love purely to the higher power, then your divine counterpart will just naturally arrive or you'll know who it is and you'll be able to be steadfast in that. Uh, we also have to be fair coming in here. So for some of my Pisces, eight and three, adding up to 11 right here. So for some of my Pisces, this is all about divine intervention justice, the scales being balanced. So Pisces, if you've kind of been fickle or if you've kind of been passive or if you've kind of been in constant with someone, then that's what you're going to be getting back. And maybe that's why you feel this sort of orphan power or place power. Okay. You are getting a power out of this. For some of my Pisces, someone else has been this way with you and you're going to be receiving justice from that situation. If you're in any situation with the courts, with the law, I really feel like it's going to go in your favor. You have a higher power on your side here. We have, you know, the Oracle of waiting for important information. So for a lot of my Pisces, this could definitely be um, in some sort of case, like court case or something with some higher power or higher authority where you're just waiting for some information to come through. If you see here, she has the owl on her head and owls always work through the night. They see in the night. She's weighing a fortune cookie and an egg. So there is a, also a decision here. It's like you can choose to birth a new idea and really go after this new trade or you can choose 
fortune's path for you, fortune cookie. So we have so many paths in life, right Pisces? And it's not saying that one path is greater than the other, but you are definitely being called here, I feel like with that orphan card to make a choice. And right now the universe is in favor of you making a pretty big choice. And you know, either planting, planting an egg, <laughs> laying an egg somewhere and allowing that egg to really hatch out of this higher power and after taking your time to reflect, or about just waiting for that information to come through and going after this fortune cookie, whatever that is. So there's fortune here for you, and there's also something new, and you can choose between, you can choose between. It's gonna be a choice between two, I'm feeling for a lot of my Pisces. We've got determination, woo yee, I love that. Your journey at this time may be full of blockages and limiting beliefs, Pisces. It is with determination that you will prevail. Seek deep within your spirit as to the true why of your desires at the present moment. When you find the answer to your why, ask deeper yet to the level beneath. See, that's what all about this mirror guardian card, taking time to reflect, and this orphaned card. From that spot, frame your will. From that spot, frame your will and focus all of your energy, Pisces. You should be fueled by the emotions creating the drive behind this move. Yep, move. Make it a move. I'm making moves. I'm making moves. I'm making moves. I'm hearing Big Sean, that move song. Okay, yeah. Okay. Once you have explored and come into true contact with the depth of your emotional leverage that comes from discovering, discovering, so discovering, uncovering, revealing the depth of your true why, then you may summon all of your resources to form the necessary determination to break through your limiting beliefs into your desired outcome, determined to succeed. I really am feeling some of here with this traitor card in all of this. With it to be fair, I feel like some of my Pisces actually will see fortune if they leave the country. I'm seeing some of you guys should be doing something, like really take a huge, huge risk here and look for opportunities outside of the country. I don't know why, that's for some Pisces. We've got vision here. Hold your vision steady with a keen eye. Appear into your future. Find excitement and the sense of design and the creation before you. On a fresh white piece of paper, write all of the glimpses that appear to you as they show themselves as fragments of your dreams, your hopes, as and aspects of your future. Move past a place of trying or hoping that it will all happen to a place of familiarity within the vision that it's already happening. Feel a place created with such clarity that you know it's already your reality. Because time doesn't really exist, right guys? Everything is just this interwoven web and I won't even get into that cosmic juju, but time's not really a thing. So know and feel it as your truth right now, Pisces, and it shall be so. Move from feelings of hope, which hold uncertainty, to feelings of expectation and certainty. See all of the possibilities, toss out nothing that you truly want to hold within this vision. It's with this level of clarity, focus, and vision that all things will be made manifest before you. And then lastly, we have infinite power, Pisces, which I really like this. This comes in I, whenever I said pi power earlier, and we have higher power right here. You're about to receive a magnificent vibration. Um, Aquarius also got this card. Visualize a wheel of light about you, a circle of light that showers upon you as you make your way through this next time period, Pisces. From this creative space, as you become more aware of its benefit, you will be able to use all of your productive self. Love is filling your being, and you are now basking in the glow of the light. Fully enjoy this part of your journey. It is well earned, and it will balance some of the challenging times of your past, Pisces. From this space, you can move forward in manifesting all of your heart's desires. Seek to remember this feeling and time period so that you may draw upon it when challenges appear again in your future. Trust that this joy will return many times in your future. All right, Pisces, I'm loving this, and we're going to get into the tarot now. And I will refer back to these cards, so I'm just kind of organizing them so I'm not hunting for them because I tend to do that, and then I get annoyed that it's kind of slowing me down. So, all right, Pisces. The bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. Okay, so I feel like Pisces is kind of dealing with the law. You're dealing with someone who's kind of doubting you. It could be parents. You might be um, dealing with an Aries or trying to get an Aries attention or curious about an Aries. But I'm really feeling for some of you guys, this is more about working with like, okay. Ooh. So you have two of pentacles in reverse as your energy. So juggling or not being able to make a decision or kind of 
not, it's like you're like, eh, I don't want to make that decision yet, or you're kind of like, la-di-da, la di dying on making a choice between two, and you really need to make this choice, Pisces. Uh, what's crossing is the Eight of Pentacles. Interesting. So there's something that you've worked on that you've put a lot of time into before that maybe you aren't currently working on. There's something of your past that you've put a, a good foundation on and Spirit's wanting you to revisit that. And for whatever reason, it's not part of your future. Maybe you moved or you just have moved on to a different thing in the recent years. But I'm hearing that there's something from the past that you were doing that was like a good path for you, Pisces, and that the universe wants to hand you blessings within, but you are no longer in that space. But it, all it takes, this could be for some of you overseas. For some of you, this could be another organization or working with um, children, I'm saying working with children, or just being of service, being of service to others, or being of service to nature. I'm feeling for a lot of my Pisces, this is, yeah, it's something that you've already put work into, and you're just not currently working on it, and you're like oblivious to the fact that this is actually your path, this thing from the past is actually what the universe is wanting you to move towards, because you're like, no, I did that so many years ago, or that was just a project that I did that I really enjoyed. So Pisces, if there's something of your past that you really enjoyed, if there's a place that you really enjoyed that you did work in, ooh, okay. If there's something to that degree, then I would, yeah, that one wanted to flip. I would look into that. I would want it to flip, but it didn't. Right. Touch stream fears. So we've got the page of swords in your subconscious. So you're thinking of reaching out. You're thinking of reaching out. Clarify death for me. Ooh. And we have a story. Interesting. All right, so Pisces, your energy. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, not really budging, not making choice right now. Maybe caught between two, maybe juggling. Maybe you made a choice and it wasn't really quite, it's like it was a good choice for you at the time, but in retrospect, you're like, meh, I need to go back to this Eight of Pentacles thing. Page of Swords is your subconscious energy. You might actually be thinking about this. This could be a relationship that you've already worked on. This could be, again, this could be work or love life. I don't really like pertaining any of these to like, this is love, this is work, this is this, because for all my Pisces, it's gonna be different, right? So for some of you guys, this is a work opportunity. And subconsciously, you're thinking, you've thought about maybe revisiting this, but it's subconscious. So it's not that you're really conscious or aware. You might even be traveling to this space in your dreams or be doing something related to this in your dreams. Pisces, for some of you, this is a relationship. This is a relationship you've already worked on. Maybe this two of pentacles is, well, I was rejected in that relationship, but I still think about it and we did lay a foundation. And in your, in your subconscious, your page of swords is thinking of asking or reaching out just as a page, just to check in, just to like feel out, put out feelers. You know, it's like just to put yourself in the waters of that person's field. You're just kind of feeling it out. What's crowning you is the Eight of Swords. We have two eights right here. Um, and then eight and eight, 16, which is a seven, which is all about spirituality. So tapping into your spiritual nature is going to get you out of here. The Eight of Swords is self-imposed prison. So your higher self up here is currently blind to this. Thing that's to this eight of pentacles that's crossing you. You're you're like blind to this. I don't know why you're choosing this. And you're past your four pentacles in reverse. Oh, wait a minute. What goes this here? Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. I was wondering why this was that way. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense now. Okay, so Pisces, your past is the four pentacles. In reverse, I do like that it's in reverse because upright four pentacles can be kind of greedy, uh, but still four pentacles in reverse can also still, for some of you it can be kind of greedy, for some of you it can be you went from a space of really like closing up and closing in on yourself and you're coming out or you came out of that and it didn't really benefit you or you just didn't really see, like you tried, this is maybe you like tried something, you tried your hand at something and it just didn't go the way that you maybe thought that it might. And your future energy, we have the King of Cups in reverse. So this could be 
yeah, you there's a foundation here that just wasn't really built on the right energy. But spirit is telling you don't worry because there's something from your past that was the, I don't want to say right foundation, but there's something of your past that you like looked over or missed or spirit just really, really wanted you to move towards this energy. And for whatever reason, you tried, you know, whatever this four of pentacles was. And then you kept trying this thing or you were, you know, trying to make an area work, make an environment work, make some something work out. And by holding on to it, by being too possessive or having too much attachment to it or wanting it too much. That's the thing, you guys. If we want something too much, then it, the universe has to take it from us because that's just natural law. That's how it works. So perhaps you're eight of swords about this because some of you guys are a little bit prideful about it or you're like, how did I lose this? And you're kind of like beating yourselves up in a typical Piscean nature of kind of being hard on yourself. And we're, the medicine here is asking yourself to go to spirit with that seven, the number of seven. Um, King of Cups in reverse could be, again, just being hard on yourself and being like, man, you know, I messed up that situation, that love situation, whatever, like, you feel like something here just did not come to fruition. The King of Cups in reverse is also really, like, moody, uh, very moody, kind of emotional, but also, like, can be emotionally shut down and not really sharing his emotions because the King of Cups upright is very emotionally available. He is the king of the kingdom of his emotions and he knows how to express them fairly. He knows how to give justice with them. He is mature with them. Think of like the divinity of like two seahorses and seahorses are so beautiful. Like anytime I watch any nature thing and I see the relationship of seahorses, the male seahorse is so supportive. He even carries the babies for the female for a set of time. It's just so beautiful. Like the amount of partnership. So for some of my Pisces, you may just, you may be wanting to leave a partnership. You may be just just realizing that you don't want to put in any more to this or this thing that you wanted just isn't working out. Whichever, your energy moving forward, we have three eights now. <laughs> we have 888. Eight, eight. So look up 888 eight, eight in um, the angel numbers and see if that pertains to you because I feel like 888 eight, eight is definitely an angel number for some of my Pisces. Eight of Wands is fast, swift communication. So you are definitely, this Page of Swords subconsciously is coming to the light. You're thinking about this thing, this relationship, this contract, whatever you've already, you've already invested in. And again, you guys, this could be work, family, or a personal relationship. Apply it to wherever it applies in your life. So you've already put a foundation on something or someone and the past didn't go well for whatever reason. You left it, you chose something else, they chose something else. It just didn't work out. It wasn't the right timing. That's what I'm hearing. Divine timing, it was not the right timing. Subconsciously, you're thinking, should I give out feelers? And then Eight of Wands is boom. I am going to go for it with this. I'm going to step out of this Eight of Swords. I'm going to take off the blindfold, get myself out of this spider web, and I'm going to move and communicate. Your environment is Six of Wands. So they are definitely um, in the spotlight. They could be uh, kind of popular or just have you know a big following or there's someone who does like a lot on social media and so you could be kind of perhaps intimidated by this and maybe that's why you have the uh, eight of swords it's like oh well, that person may be too busy for me or that thing is like a too big of a thing for me like I'm not good enough for that so Pisces you really have to delete your self-limiting beliefs here love and let yourself be loved drop into your heart um, this is definitely with the higher power and to be fair justice coming in you are supposed to be a part of this in some regard your hope streams and fears are death in reverse so death in reverse is definitely resisting an ending resisting an ending to something that's why i say there is definitely an energy of resistance resistance here, that four pentacles in reverse, the king of cups in reverse, and death in reverse. There's something emotionally here that needs to be looked at, Pisces. I think this is definitely with the determination card of feeling blockages from your limiting beliefs and really needing to seek spirit for your deeper why. So if all these emotion cards and this stability, this instability is what this is, is like just not quite working and death upright is a great card because it's letting go in a healthy way so that you can really allow for new things to come through in reverse and this is again your hopes dreams and fears so this is just reminiscent of psychologically you're not really in the most confident space 
And we see that with the page. I mean, it's a page energy. And then we have the king energy here, but it's in reverse. So for some of you guys, it's breaking up with um, an, an, a water sign. It's ending things with water sign. For some of you guys, you're moody. You're just not in your best space emotionally. For some of you guys, you're just not being emotionally available. You're really, and I'm saying guys, but I mean guys or girls. For some of you beings, you're just not being emotionally available. And you need to step out of that and speak up. You need to speak up and say something. But I'm definitely feeling for some of my Pisces, you're just not in the best mental space right here. There's like grudges held. Um, you're thinking about this, but it just didn't work out. Uh, your environment, you know, they're just la di da. They're just like owning it up over here. There might be some like resentment towards this energy. You're in. That's just for some of you guys. For some of you guys, it's you want to go towards them, but again, you're seeing this like eight of swords. You feel like it's just you can't. You feel like for whatever reason it's blocked. You feel like there's a block here. But you guys, it's self-imposed limiting beliefs. This is all about a deeper abandonment issue. This is all a deeper abandonment issue, deeper within. Spirit is really asking you to get clear with yourself. Now, in the future, we have the hangman in reverse, which I like for this outcome because. The hanging man can kind of be feeling stuck in limbo, but it's also like giving it up to spirit. And in reverse, it can be kind of resistant, but it can also be, no, it can be cutting yourself down from, because hanging man in traditional tarot is like hanging from his foot, but he could cut himself down anytime if he really wanted to. So in reverse, I'm taking this as you're cutting yourself down from this emotional space, and you are going to make a decision to move towards the sun and knight of pentacles. Now, knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, Pisces, but I like this for you because it means you're taking your time. Determination will prevail. You're going to have your vision. You're waiting for that important information, and maybe that's why you're the knight of pentacles. He's the sturdiest knight of all the knights. All the other knights just kind of like come and go. They don't really stick around, but the Knight of Pentacles is going to build a foundation, and he's building for the sun. The sun is like the best card to get in the deck. He wants his happiness, he wants his career, he wants, you know, happy wife, happy life, or, you know, she wants happy husband, happy life. Like, this is wanting stability, wanting the career, seeing what you need to do, and the path to get there, and it's going to be a slow path, but as long as you know your power, and you know what you truly have to offer, and you offer it, and you get out of this orphaned space of the Eight of Swords, and feel feeling, you know, just emotionally empty or like you just fucked up in this situation or like it's just, you, there was a miss, drop these limiting beliefs, Pisces, and let yourself tap into the infinite power, the infinite power that is seriously, seriously calling you because spirit is calling on you to make a big shift and spirit's trying to give you the sun and spirit wants you to have the stability where these two horses are rearing and frolicking with all this green, which is abundance, moolah, all of that yumminess. And we have that, yeah, the infinite power that you're getting this vibration. We have a higher power that's working for you here and we have fairness, we have justice coming to you. So, all right, Pisces, I love you guys and I will see you for your mid-January readings.